Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni and I am the blogger behind SimpleLivingMama.com and I am coming to you today from my new house. We just got moved in a couple of weeks ago and we are still settling in. It's been a long process. This room will become our library. So I'm really excited. As you can see, I've got shelves. There are shelves all over this room and I will definitely be sharing with you what we do with this room in the future. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about something that is uh, very important in our homeschool and that is math. And I'm gonna be sharing with you what we are using um, in case you don't know, we are still using teaching textbooks, but teaching textbooks has come out with their new program, teaching textbooks 4.0, which is now an app based homeschool math curriculum. So whereas before when I did my review on teaching textbooks 3.0, it was um, a subscription that you did on the computer. You could access it on an iPad, but it was clunky and it wasn't very easy to use. But 4.0 has been completely revamped and um, you can now use it on any kind of mobile device that you have. So you just download the app and your child logs in and they can use it on any mobile device and it can sync up. They can still use it on a computer and all that stuff. So I'm gonna sort of jump in today and talk to you about our experience with using the app, sort of how the app works and all of that stuff. So if um, you haven't seen my previous review, I switched over to teaching textbooks because I was struggling with teaching my oldest child math. He and I were both ending up in tears because I was struggling with how to explain the concepts to him. He was struggling with how to understand what I was explaining to him. And it was very difficult. And I knew that I needed something that would help me a lot more. So enter teaching textbooks. Uh, we tried it. It does all of the teaching for you, all of the grading for you. It's very hands-off for me. And that's exactly what I needed. I did not want to be hands-on with math because there are other subjects that I feel better equipped to teach. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't still step in when my kids need extra help. I definitely do that, um, especially when they're learning new concepts, like when they are moving into learning multiplication or division and stuff like that. I definitely try to step in and help them whenever they need it. So I'm always available for them. At this point, I have three children that are in teaching textbooks. Um, my oldest son is doing math five. Uh, my middle child or my second oldest child is doing math four. And then I have a child doing math three as well. And we use it on all sorts of different devices. Um, sometimes my kids will use the computer, they'll use the iPad, they'll use the iPhone. It also wor works on Android devices. So if you are an Android family, you can use the app on those devices as well. As far as how it's working out for me as the mom, um, I love the gradebook feature. I can just log in on the computer and I can look at all three of my kids' grades. Um, before, one of the things that was kind of uh, iffy to me was there was not a, like a running average for all of the lessons completed for a child. But now when you log into the grade book, you can see the running average. Um, so you know about how well your child is doing across all of the lessons. You can also see um, which lessons they have completed, what date they have completed the lessons and all of that stuff. So that really helps me out and I can see how well that they are doing very easily and very quickly. As far as the kids go, they really do enjoy using teaching textbooks. Um, the lessons are very thorough. So they'll sit down to the lesson, they'll watch the lecture, they'll do some practice problems, and then they'll do the, the regular problems. And they have, I have hints turned on. You do have the option to turn hints off, but if they come to a problem that they don't remember how to work, they can access the hint and sort of get a hint for figuring out the problem. If they still, if they get the problem wrong, they immediately get a second chance 
and that usually does it for them. They also have the option to watch a step-by-step -step, um, audio visual uh, representation of the, of the problem so they can both see and hear how the problem is worked if they need that extra um, reinforcement when it comes to doing their math problems. So it works out really well for us and it works out really well for them and they're actually learning a lot from being able to see and hear the problems worked out. Um, a new feature of uh, Teaching Textbooks 4.0 that was not available before that my kids really enjoy is the scratch pad. And the scratch pad is basically a, a little um, screen that they can click on within the app and it will allow them to use um, their fingers or the mouse or something to work out the problem on the screen. So if you're using a tablet, this is especially helpful for a tablet. You can use a stylus, your finger or whatever, and work out the problem, like a scratch piece of paper. Um, that's really helpful for whenever you're on the go and maybe you don't have access to um, scratch paper because a lot of times my kids will take their math in the van when we have somewhere that we need to be and um, you know, we don't always necessarily have scratch paper with us. So they can work out their problems right there on the screen. Um, let's see, what else are we enjoying about teaching textbooks? Oh, there's new buddies, there's new wallpapers for the kids to choose from. My youngest son has is obsessed with lizards right now and he has chosen a chameleon wallpaper for his and he loves it. He loves being able to choose a new buddy, um, there's a lot of things that he really, really enjoys about the program. They also have stickers and sticker books that they, the kids can keep on the screen. Like it's not a physical sticker book, but they will get stickers and they can put it into their virtual sticker book on, um, their portion of the app. So that makes it really simple. Now, if you're wondering how does this all work? Basically, you get one year access to uh, the digital course of your choosing. So um, I have, for instance, my oldest son in Math 5. He gets 12 months of access to Math 5. There is the option to pause. Um, there's three months worth of pause time for each course. So whenever you're taking a break, like Christmas break, um, spring break, going on vacation, whatever, you have the option to pause the course. Um, the only caveat with that is that you have to pause it for a week at a time. So the way that we use teaching textbooks is I will start my children in math three when they are in the second grade and then they will just move on up. Now for kindergarten and first grade, we do a more hands-on approach, a different curriculum, nothing that is on an app or on the computer or anything like that. Uh, I feel more comfortable and obviously teaching textbooks does not begin until math three. So that's why we started in second grade. Um, they have a placement test if you need help placing your child. A lot of times people will say that their child is a grade ahead or two grades ahead of uh, the level that would correspond with their, um, their grade. But my oldest child, like I said, we had struggled so much with math for the first few years. Me being a brand new homeschool mom and not know what I was doing that um, I started him in a grade. So he's like in math five, but he is in sixth grade. So um, it, it really just depends. It's all relative. Uh, take the placement test <laughs> if you're unsure of where to start your child and go from there. So teaching textbooks begins with math three and it goes all the way up to pre-calculus. Another really nice feature about teaching textbooks is if your child has gone through all of the hints and the second chances and watching how the problems are solved and everything. They do have the option to uh, speak to a tutor through teaching textbooks for free. So that is definitely there and available if your child needs it. Um, and if you are interested, teaching textbooks does have a free trial. It provides the first 15 lessons of each uh, course for free. There's no credit card required or anything. So you can try out any of the courses 
the first 15 lessons completely free. And I will make sure to have the link down in the description box below for you to give that a try. If you would like the opportunity to win one year of access to any of the levels of math, um, I am hosting a giveaway over on the blog, so you'll definitely want to check out the blog post. I'll have it up in a card and down in the description below, so you can pop on over to the blog and enter to win. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and this review. I hope that you got something from it. If you have any questions about teaching textbooks, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can and try to answer whatever it is that you are having trouble with or just are curious about. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give us a like um, and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye.